Welcome back. It's a She Guy Shadow. Today is May 24th, and I'm just showing you my squash plant. This is what I basically planted the bed here. I planted April the 4th, I believe it was. And so I have squash, sunflowers, some carrots, beans, alyssums. And uh, that's cucumber right there. Okay. So that's the bed that I planted April 4th. And it's doing very well. And you see a beautiful sunflower right here. And onions. And those are the transplants down in there. From that sunflower pot. Corn hanging in there. Still have a lot of army worms. I'm going to have to do things entirely different next season. I'm just not going to worry about corn for the rest of this year. Um, and I planted a lot of bean, bush bean seeds and they're, they've come up. And my onions are doing very well. Okay. And over here I have nasturtiums. And that is Asiatic lilies, so they're gonna bloom again. As you can see, the pods at the top, they're gonna bloom again. Here is my citrus. Very, very pleased with the citrus. Lemon, lime, I have grapefruit and orange. That little orange plant coming up. I need to move this and get some more sun. All right. Pumpkin, as you can see, that has grown tremendously. So, we should have pumpkin probably by August or September. Oop. And okra and tomatoes and green peppers. You can probably see the green peppers down in there. Okay. And over here is sweet potato that has grown tremendously, a lot of leaves. All right, tomato, I transplanted that tomato plant about a month ago. Mint I put in the ground, doing very well as always. Sage, I took that from the bed where I had my cabbage, where I had my cabbage, and I put it in a pot. Got a couple of tomatoes off of this tomato, Roma tomato plant last week. A plant, I had to put some dust on that. And parsley and scallions and carrots doing very well over there. And some okra blooms as you can see. And my leeks. Let me move this out the way. My leeks over there are doing very well, as you can see. All right, I transplanted this sweet pepper plant. So we'll see how that does. And I have some blooms on this pepper plant. These are habaneros. I believe habaneros. So, no, those right here, okay, I take that back. These right here are Anaheim. These are habaneros. Okay. And through there, as you see, I have two tomatoes I'll be taking off in a day or two. They're almost fully ready. Okay. Cantaloupe. Coming along very well. The cantaloupe that was over there came off the vine. It's almost ripe. I wrapped it and put it under the cabinet so it can finish ripening. So here's all of my tomato. And as you can see, I have my marigolds. They are blooming. Okay. And through there, two green peppers. Okay. 
okra and gladiolas one two gladiolas basically bloomed and now they've died back so and that's my citronella and I've harvested a lot of tomatoes off of this tomato plant and I have quite a few on here as you can see quite a few big ones all right basil doing very well very pleased with that basil here another Anaheim pepper plant and another bigger sweet basil plant um, here I have cucumber and sunflowers some more marigolds scallions and um, carrots and here are my okra plants again here's my grapevine great plant okay corn and here's cucumber okay so the corn I <laughs> I'm just gonna let it just do what it does I'm not even stressing over it anymore it it was a learning experience for me finding out all what's going on with corn and army worms okay so we have a lot of watermelon vines okay a lot going on cantaloupe in there too oregano here's watermelon A then I have watermelon B over here actually that's C that's watermelon C a lot of vines a lot of vines, a lot of vines, a lot of vines. And of course, we potato all the way over there. So let's go take a look. See what's going on. Oh, and over here, tomato. Let's see a tomato here. Alright. I have my onions. They're there. Okay beans see some beans and eggplant okay and there's a little ogre right there so let's go and take a look over here at another watermelon and cantaloupe oh yeah I got this cantaloupe over here I don't know how that's going to turn out we'll see and more watermelon vines and another cantaloupe there And that's watermelon B. Okay. Watermelon B. So on my sweet potato and my dog Marley and Raya. Dogs with Raya and Marley. Um so yeah, that's where we're at. So this is the one side, as you know I have two sides to my garden. I'm just showing y'all this side today. But, uh, oh, let me show you these eggplants real quick. These babies are coming off soon. They look real good. Okay. One, two, and there's a third one back there, too. All right. So until next time, happy gardening.